So in this video today, we're going to be looking at three topics not to bring up at a wedding, guys. Topic number one that um, you shouldn't join or bring up at a wedding is the race topic, guys. The race topic. So, guys. It doesn't matter if, let's say, um, you are shooting a video for, like, um, you know, African Americans, or you're shooting a video for, you know, Asians, or for, you know, white people. <clears throat> you need to be neutral, guys. You know what I mean? And not even, honestly, with me, don't even, you know, join the conversation. When people are talking about race, don't even join the conversation. You know what I mean? Because, like, you might offend somebody unintentionally, okay? You might offend someone without even knowing that you're um, offending them. Because um, even if, like, let's say, uh, like, I'm shooting a wedding for African Americans and I'm also, you know, and... Um, they're talking about, uh, it's an example, right? One, somebody in the, in the crowd or somebody in the group or we're in the bride's room and somebody starts bringing up how like this race is this and that and talking shit about another race. You know, I'm not going to join that conversation. I'm just not even going to like, you know, tolerate the, conf I mean, of course, I'm not going to like say, oh, stop talking about that. I'm just going to maybe like, you know, go in another room and take the rings with me and start filming the rings or start filming the dress or just like do my thing or whatever. I'm not even going to, you know, put myself in a situation or even if they ask me a question, I'm not even I'm just going to be like, oh, uh, no comment, no comment, you know, because like maybe I say something and maybe somebody in there, somebody, one of the bridesmaids, maybe they're married to somebody who we're talking about, they're married to eight to an Asian person or something, you know, or they're married to a certain culture. You know what I mean? So don't just bring it up because they're going to from just from that time when you say whatever you say, they're going to be looking at you um, differently. They're going to be like, oh, so that's how you think about this, uh, this type of people or these, this race or whatever. So just don't uh, when somebody brings up race and they're talking about race, don't even join the conversation. Just like run away as far as you can. In this, I mean, like, don't even join. Don't even like, you know, entertain it. You know what I mean? Just don't even talk. Don't even just just act like you're deaf and dumb. You know, just deaf and dumb and you just do your thing. And if they ask you something, be like, huh? Huh? Like, you know, just like don't even uh, join those types of conversations. Because you never know who in the room is associated with um, the, 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 the race that you're talking about. Because, you know, they might, they might have a co-worker who's their best friend who is in that race. You know, they might have a neighbor who is in that race. They might have a significant other who is in that race. So you never know. You know, you might say something, maybe even mean it to mean it in a nice way but offend them without even you knowing and maybe they might not even tell you that you offended them but they're just gonna they're just gonna look at you like okay so this is how you feel or this is how you think so the best thing to do is just to avoid the whole topic as a whole just don't talk about it just don't even join it just don't even uh don't even encourage it you know like just don't talk just be quiet you know so that's a topic that you need to avoid guys because you never know who in that group is associated with the per with the type of people, the race, whatever that people are talking about and slandering, you know. So that's uh, my thoughts on it. So topic number two is um, personal topics, guys. Avoid personal topics, guys. Don't even engage in uh, personal topics. You might hurt someone's feelings when you start talking about personal topics uh as an example here i put um like animal rights you know somebody might have a strong um animal rights thing about them you know they might really care about certain animals like they might really care about cats they might really care about dogs they might really care about snakes they might really care about you know chimpanzees or 
um, about rats or whatever. They might really care about a certain animal. And then um, if you start bringing up, like, if you start talking bad about, like, animals and stuff, or just like, you know, and, like, don't even go there. You know, th those are personal things with people. Like, if you love dogs, okay, you love dogs. You know, just don't bring it up. You're not there to talk about your dog. You know, you're there to talk about the wedding. You're there to talk about the bride and groom. You know, so these topics about if, if you hate cats, then keep it to yourself. You know, you don't have to announce it to the room. Oh, I hate cats. Like, you know, I mean, it's, that's your personal preference. Maybe, the, maybe one of the bridesmaids has like 10 cats in the house. You know, they love cats. They've been loving cats since they were a baby. So, like, that's a personal thing to that person. Stuff like um, favorite teams, favorite, like, sports teams and stuff, um, favorite colors. You know, you might hate pink, but maybe somebody in there and is a guy is passionate about pink or is a girl and they're passionate about a, a color that you hate. You hate turquoise and maybe that's their favorite color. So that's a, uh, that's a personal topic. So avoid that topic about, you know, stuff like that about favorite uh, brands, maybe somebody likes Hello Kitty and you don't. Let them like Hello Kitty. You know, they like Gucci. You don't like Gucci, then let them like that. You know, just that's something personal to them. Uh, and something personal is like how they, is what identifies them as a person. So you are personally attacking them when you say you don't like something that they like. So it's a personal attack. That's why these topics are personal. That's why you need to avoid personal topics you know, favorite music. Maybe somebody likes um, um, me uh, metal rock. Uh, is it metal rock, rock metal, whatever, like where they like just scream and stuff. Maybe that's, maybe they like that music. Just because you like hip hop doesn't mean um, everybody else has to like hip hop. Maybe some people don't like hip hop. Maybe some people like R&B. Maybe some people like country music. Maybe some people like soul music. Maybe some people like um, funk music. Maybe some people like jazz. Maybe some people like opera. So, you know, just like those are personal topics. You know what I mean? Don't bring up too much about how you hate a set of music uh, or a band or something. Maybe you hate boys to men. Maybe some people love boys to men. Maybe some people love in sync. Maybe some people like, you know, like, all those things, music, you know, uh, favorite food. Maybe you hate sushi. Maybe some people just eat, like they love sushi. You know, you hate rice. Some people, that's all they eat is rice. They love rice. You hate pizza. They like pizza. You hate burritos. You hate tacos. Some people maybe that they love tacos. They love burritos. You know what I mean? So those are personal topics. Maybe some people are vegans and you're like, oh, I, I can't stand how some people just like eat veggies and, and no meat you love meat, then you love meat. You don't have to bring up uh, slander somebody's, um, you know, that's what they like doing. They like drinking Diet Pepsi. So don't be like, oh, well, Diet Pepsi don't do shit for you. You just, you're still fat. Just drink water. Like, that's personal thing to them. Just let them like that. You know, some people like Chinese food. You don't like Chinese food, then okay. Don't bring it up. You know, nobody wants to know. If they're talking about favorite foods, just don't bring it up, you know. Like I said, somebody in the room might be might um, be related to somebody who just eats the food that you that you are slandering. You know, some people just eat cookies. There's people that just like they eat a lot of cookies, a lot of ice creams and stuff like that. Don't be like, oh no, that's just you know you chubby. You're gonna get chubby. Like that's their own thing. You're there to film the wedding. You're not there to talk about why people. You're not there to be a nutritionist. You're there to be a videographer. Okay, guys. Um, so, uh, people's political views, this is really big, guys. We are all tempted to talk about our candidate, uh, uh, whatever. our, we, we all like talking about how we like our party. Oh, I like the Republican party because this and this. I like the Democratic party because of this and this. I like Bernie Sanders and all the, like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just don't, if the group is talking about it, just don't join that conversation. Because that's a personal topic to people. You know what I mean? People really believe hardcore in these things. You know, maybe somebody has been raised to be a Democrat all their life and then you are a Republican. Or maybe uh, somebody has been raised to be a Republican or to like just Republicans or to just to vote for them. And those just appeal to them. So don't attack them. Just respect them and don't even 
join the conversation. Just be like, oh, yeah, I seen on the news. Yeah, it was funny or whatever. Just like don't even talk about it. You know, just like play, di- play death and dumb. You know, guys, um, just don't like, you know, don't be on some monkey see, monkey do thing. You know what I mean? So habits, people's habits. Maybe some, maybe somebody likes smoking cigarettes. Like, don't tell people that cigarettes are nasty. You know what I mean? That's your opinion. Maybe they, their father has been smoking cigarettes be, be, before them. Their grandma has been smoking. Like, they grew up smoking. Like, that's their own thing. Like, you know, if they want to quit, they'll quit when they want to quit. Don't be talking about how, oh, people just need to quit right now or blah, blah, blah. Like, that's somebody's habit. Just respect their habit. Don't even bring it up. You know, that's a, 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 a habit that they do. Maybe they like reading 10 books a day. Or they like reading a book a day like Ty Lopez. You can't be like, oh, don't read a book a day. Just uh, binge watch Netflix. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, knowledge. I'm a lot more proud of these seven new knowledge. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? New Lamborghini that I had to get installed to hold 2,000 new Lamborghini. Maybe they like binge watching Netflix. Like, so, like... That's their preference. Let them binge watch Netflix. If you like watching uh, documentaries or you like watching uh, whatever else or you like reading or you like taking a walk in the park, then you go do that. You know, don't start telling people what to and what not to do because those, the habits are what define them as a person inside. Like that's what gives them their identity. So like if somebody smokes, well, they're a smoker right and they're going to mingle with other smokers so if you start slandering smoking uh they're going to look at you like uh you know they're going to tell the bride like you know the videographer you had is a freaking a-hole you know what i mean like stuff like that i can't stand this much like you know so um addictions that falls into habits um less uh, personal development topics don't bring up personal development topics maybe some people just want to be bums let them be bums maybe some people um you know and another thing is religion, yeah. Religion, guys, don't bring up religion when you at weddings. Just avoid that topic of religion because you, know, you never know who in the crowd is related or know somebody who is in a religion that you're talking shit about. You know, just respect um, people's religions, respect their beliefs. You know, if somebody's an atheist, they don't even believe in religion, just, just don't even talk about it. Just don't bring up Jesus to them. Just, like, just... You know, you're assigned to, like, just don't, you know, just, like, avoid that topic. Run as far away from that topic as you can, guys. Like, it's really, religion is really huge because you're attacking somebody's core beliefs and how they were raised, you know. Um, yeah, so that's personal development. Maybe some people don't like talking about bettering themselves. Don't bring that up. Like, don't tell people, oh, you know, you just have to work hard, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they don't want to work hard. You know, maybe they just want to travel the world and, and hug trees and stuff like that. You know, so don't bring up topics like that. How to raise a child. Like, don't bring, don't tell people how to and how not to raise their child. You know what I mean? Or even how to treat their, their pets or whatever. Like, let them do them. It's something personal to them. You know, they're tasting clothes. Don't bring up tasting clothes. Like, maybe they like wearing baggy pants. Maybe they like sagging their pants. Let them sag their pants. Maybe the groom is sagging his pants. Or maybe the groom is wearing, like, you know, tight pants. Like, let, let him do him. You know, that's something personal to him, and that's his identity. So let him, don't attack that. Maybe you don't like loose pants. You like tighter pants. Then that's your opinion, and that's your preference. That's, don't attack somebody else's preference. So that's a personal topic, guys. Um, lifestyle. This all falls under, like, personal topics. Lifestyle. Maybe somebody's lifestyle is going to the club and partying and, you know, one night stands every weekend. Let them go have their one night stands. Maybe you want to just be married and or whatever your thing is, then just do that. You know, whatever floats your boat, right? Just because somebody's lifestyle is different from yours. Maybe somebody likes country and they're always wearing boots and they want to buy a horse. It's like, just let them do them. You know, that's their lifestyle. Let them lead that lifestyle. Don't bring up uh, what lifestyle you think is better because everybody is an individual and everybody, um, you know, appeal to different things. That's why we're all unique and we're all individuals. So I'm going to leave that personal topic thing there. 
<clears throat> which brings me to the last topic to avoid, which is a big one. And this topic is sexuality, guys. Like, you know, avoid the topic of sexuality because you might not like a certain type of sexuality and how people identify themselves, um, you know, but that's, that's what they want to be. If somebody is bi or they're, you know, they like men and they're a guy or they like women and they're a lady, just let them do whatever they want to do. You know, don't be calling people this and calling people that. Maybe the bride's sister likes women and that's just her preference. Maybe the groom's brother, you know, he is dating guys and that's what he likes doing. So just like let him be. That's what he likes doing. Let him be. Like leave that topic on sexuality alone. Don't be attacking people's uh, sexual preferences. You know what I'm saying? Who in the room knows somebody or is related to somebody who is um, has a sexual preference that you are slandering, you know, because they might just like maybe even punch you or whatever. So just avoid the topic altogether. Just go do something else. Just like bring up something else or just like just worry about what you need to do. You know, just that's what how I feel you should do it. So that's that, guys. Um, so in conclusion is um, be very, very natural in any topic. And if it's very personal, just don't join. Just don't talk about it. I would, I would just say don't even uh, get into the topic, guys. Don't even talk about it. You might have somebody in the group, in the crowd, in the bridesmaids or wherever, the guests, the wedding guests. There might be somebody who wants to book you for a wedding or for their wedding, or for their daughter's wedding, or for their friend's wedding. And then um, if they find out that your views differ from them, they might not even want to book you. Matter of fact, they won't even book you. Maybe the person that they, they wanted um, you to shoot a wedding for, maybe they're a different race, and that's the race you were talking shit about. Or maybe they like doing, maybe they like going to the gym every day, and you were talking shit about people who go to the gym every day. So that's the reason why you need to avoid topics because one of the guests might want to book you for a wedding uh, for, uh, uh, and maybe you just like hurt their feelings from the topics that you were engaging in or people that you were talking about. So that's why it's always good to just not even join these conversations because you never know who in the room might want to book you next. So you might just like, you know, mess up your chance of getting more money because you want to go and you want to start going out your way talking about things that you're not even getting paid for to talk about. You know, you're there to film the wedding. You're not there to talk about what somebody should be eating. You know what I mean? So that's conclusion because uh, that's my conclusion. Just don't join these topics because you never know who in the room uh, wants to book you. And just based off of the topics that you got engaged in, they might not even want to book you because... Maybe you hurt their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Always remember when you are at a wedding, you are there to film. You are there to be a videographer. You're not there to be Dr. Phil. You're not there to be a counselor. You're not there to be a therapist. Guys, um, you know, your opinion really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not getting paid for your opinion when you're at a wedding you are getting paid to film a wedding. So when you go to these places, to these weddings, to these venues, just like uh, be respectful of other people and their beliefs and their religions and their habits and all these things. Just like worry about filming the wedding. Just worry about that. Don't worry about all these other things that are not really, um, that you're not really there to do. So just avoid some of these topics, especially when, you just kind of sense like, okay, this might turn out ugly. Like maybe you might be talking about somebody who's not there, you know, about like, let's say you're Christians and you're talking about Muslims and you think that nobody there is a Muslim, like, you know, or you're a Muslim and you're talking about like, let's say atheists, like, you know, just avoid these sensitive topics, avoid these personal topics, guys, because you never know, maybe somebody in, maybe one of the guests, um, wants to book you and you just hurt their feelings by, by talking about something that's personal to them or personal to somebody who they might want you to do a wedding for. So with that being said, guys, um, 
Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you gained some value out of this uh, video today. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that.